While in an ideal world, we normally would love baby just to wean naturally when they are ready. But sometimes mamas have to make that decision to wean their child. And it is not easy. In fact, usually baby and mama will end up in tears at some point in this process. But in this video, I will share with you some tips to make it gentler and easier for you both. Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, the woman behind MamaNatural.com, the number one natural pregnancy and parenting brand. If you have a new baby, I've got a great free email series for you that tracks baby's developmental milestones and delivers simple, natural tips to help you and baby thrive. Sign up at MamaNatural.com slash updates. So let's talk about what weaning is. Weaning is when your baby stops receiving breast milk. This usually occurs when the baby is receiving nutrition from solid foods and is old enough to drink other forms of milk. Though sometimes weaning occurs before that. If the baby is too young to rely on solids, weaning may also include substituting breast milk with formula. Now the Academy of Pediatrics recommends that babies breastfeed exclusively for the first six months and breastfed along with solids for at least one year or more while mutually desired by mother and baby. Now the World Health Organization or the WHO also recommends breastfeeding exclusively for six months and then up to two years of age or beyond. While most kids are able to wean from a nutritional standpoint at 12 to 18 months, most babies are ready to emotionally separate from breastfeeding anywhere between two and four years old. I found with my kids, their sweet spot was about two and a half to three years old. But if you need to wean for whatever reasons, here are some suggestions to make the process easier for everyone. The first thing you need to do is to commit, okay? You need to really be sure that you wanna wean because the last thing you wanna do is send baby mixed messages. You also are gonna probably rally some support from your partner or maybe family or friends, so you don't wanna waste their time by having them start this process and stop and blah, blah, blah. Now let me just say, I weaned my baby Faith for five full days and then I caved and we went back to breastfeeding and then finally, several months later, I really knew body, mind, and spirit that it was time for me to wean for many different reasons. The second tip is if you haven't already, wean your nighttime feedings. Now, if your baby is over 12 months, they really don't need breast milk in the middle of the night from a nutritional standpoint. Of course, there might always be exceptions, but for most babies, they don't need it. So start weaning there. The other thing you wanna do is start talking to your child about weaning. When I was weaning Faith, I told her I loved her so much, but that boobies were gonna go bye-bye, or if you call them milkies or lovies or whatever you say, but the key is to let them know that you love them, that you're not mad at them, that you're not rejecting them, but start using language about closing this time period between you and baby. Then every time you nurse, you wanna bring a lovey or a stuffed animal into that experience. The idea is they're gonna start associating that little lovey or stuffed animal with that comfort and with that bonding. So this will help when you're done breastfeeding, they can still have that lovey or stuffed animal. Don't ever initiate breastfeeding because sometimes babies will naturally drop a feeding or two just by you not always bringing them to your lap to nurse. You want to start by dropping one feeding at a time. So let's say you always feed after they get up from a nap. Consider something different. You got to have something fun. So go outside, get them in the bubble bath, get out Play-Doh, you know, serve them a yummy snack and a cute little bowl. Find something to replace that normal feeding time. You also can try creating an alternative. Like my kid loved warmed cow's milk with a little drop of maple syrup. It was so sweet and delicious that Griffin seriously weaned like that because he actually probably preferred the way this sweetened milk tastes. And that's when I weaned him when I was pregnant with his sister. You also wanna wait at least two days before you drop the next feeding, okay? So you're slowly gonna drop one feeding and then the next one because you don't wanna rush it because the last thing you need is engorgement or having any pain or discomfort. Now for some moms, if they're producing a ton of milk, they might only be able to drop a feeding every four days. So really let your breast fullness be your guide. Wear a big bulky shirt or sweatshirt. This helps them not have easy access, but also they can't smell your milk. So it's not a constant reminder. Distraction is your friend when you are weaning. So this is a time where you might be giving them special snacks that you don't normally do, or give them special toys or little events or activities. So just know this is only temporary. You're just using these as crutches, so this is not permanent. But the point is, allow yourself to use these crutches to get through the hard time. The other thing you can do is experiment with certain teas that can reduce breast milk supply. So parsley tea and sage tea are two things that can reduce your supply and it might just help the process because baby might come to the breast and think, oh my gosh, there's not that much milk here anyways and get bored with it and move on. 
You also can try cold cabbage leaves. This is a old school remedy for engorgement. So you could use this as part of your process with weaning. So this is a, an extremely individualized experience and there's no like set time frame. You just have to take it one day at a time. Just make sure that the process is not too abrupt because this can lead to problems. First, you could have engorgement, which can lead to plug ducts or even mastitis. Um, it also can cause problems with hormonal imbalances. So this can be really distressing for mom, but also for the child. And then finally, you might see more tantrums or clinginess or insecurity from your child because it was so abrupt. Okay, mamas, I'm not gonna lie to you. Weaning is an emotional process that is not easy. Remember, whenever possible, slow and steady wins the race. Give yourself and your child a little grace while you adjust to your new normal. I hope this video is helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. And head on over to mamanatural.com updates and sign up for my free baby emails. Each week you'll get personalized message that tracks baby's development, plus you'll get natural evidence-based resources for you and baby. Finally, check out my baby care course at mamanaturalbaby.com. It features a holistic pediatrician, an IBCLC certified lactation consultant, and a community of new moms. Get all that info at mamanaturalbaby.com.